Hey Builder Blog. We're somewhere really fun today. We are out here on Pier 35 and we are getting ready for the Open Sauce event in beautiful San Francisco. And it's a fantastic day for this. Oh, coming in with the foot micro drive. Got the robot out of the arena back to the center. Will bounce on the ropes. He's upside down. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, we're here with everybody's favorite builder, the infamous Will Bales. And you you came all the way from Florida for this? Yeah, it just seemed like one of those events that you have to be at. You know, like everyone's gonna be here and we need to be a part of it. Well, I've been really excited to have you here in California. And I, I can't believe, how did you get this through airport security? Oh, it's really simple, you don't. Uh, <laughs> we, we, we shipped it to Mark DeVitz uh, from Icewave, so we, we shipped it to his company, Double Robotics, and then Aaron Hill uh, picked it up in his minivan and brought it here. So it, it, it took a village, but it got here. <laughs> and, and that's how you get a robot all the way from Florida to California in one piece. Easy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the inside of the beast. I'll be sure to blur it out. <laughs> Wait, isn't this the weapon motor that Riptide uses? Uh, I guess. Are you using that for drive? We're using everything. It's the same motor for everything. So we have two of them. Uh, the, the new motor, 8038, 100 kVs. So that's what powers the weapon. And then, yeah, one for each side for, for the drivetrain. So it makes it nice and simple because we have one type of motor in the robot and one type of controller. So it's, it's a lot of just the same part on the shelf. Wow. Wow. And why is everything at an angle? Because it's fun. <laughs> that was the design prompt, is make it as, as non-boxy as possible. Uh, so at least on the outside, my goal was avoid 90 degree angles at all costs. I, I truly think you did that, because even like this back board, it has a bow to it. And your switches are at angles. Yeah, but and, cool. And that is at an angle, and this is at an angle, and that... Yeah. All right. This is like a Where's Waldo game. Is there a single 90 degree angle in your robot? I mean, I guess the, the, the sides are vertical relative to most of the base plate. Um, all, right, all right, so I guess your wheels are technically yeah. 90 degrees yeah, the, to the, the floor. Yeah, the wheels are 90 degrees. I guess the weapon itself is 90 degrees. This is, you know, these are parallel faces for the, for the axle. Uh, but I, I did my darkness so, to avoid them. So only where it was absolutely necessary. Right, basically where anything spins, it had to be parallel, but that's about it. <laughs> wow. It's blue for PLA prints. That's awesome. Can we try it? Yeah, absolutely. This could not be broken, huh? It cannot be broken. <laughs> Nope. All right, apparently with enough twisting force, you still can't break the glue, but you can break the plastic. <laughs> 3D glue, we make adhesive specifically for 3D printed plastics. Uh, our chemistry is really unique. It kind of exists in between the two primary adhesive subjects. Uh, you have your... Uh, Typical cements, uh, these are you know adhesives that use solvents and uh, plastic dissolvent in it. And you have your reactive adhesives, think uh, super glues, epoxy, cyanoacrylates. Gloop exists somewhere in between. How it works is we actually have a activation solvent that degrades the polymer substrate. And there's a chemical process that goes on once, the, uh, once it's brushed onto the surface that'll actually cause spontaneous cross-linking and uh, chain lengthening of the polymer substrate. So as it cures, it will end up chemically welding the two plastic polymers together, effectively making the bond stronger than the substrate material itself. Hey there, Builder Blog. Leave a comment if you could figure out why my crazy wife is out handing out pinwheels to everyone. I'd like to know. All right, I gotta know. I've been going to Maker Fair my entire life. I know it got shut down at one point. Tell me the good news. Maker Fair is back. Woo! Yes! October. 
October, where's Mare it going to be? Mare Island, Vallejo, California, the old ship naval yard. It's going to be awesome. Two weekends, fun stuff to do in between, and that's it. Like, I'm excited. I'm so excited. All right. Bot Bash Parties was a Maker Fair alumni. It's where we got our start. We're going to apply for a booth, and I hope to see everyone from the Builder Blog out at Mare Island. Maker Fair. Maker Fair. 2023. It's back, baby! Yeah. It's back. <laughs> That is true. Feet and, per second. And what's this thing doing? About 250, 270, depending on what kind of blaster. So that's like four times the power? Yes. <laughs> and it looks like you have a wide array of these. Yes, we have quite a wide array. <laughs> so we have the Lynx, the Skewer, the uh, Harpoon, and the SPL, and the Locks. Designs are all open source. You can go full files. Uh, you can buy hardware kit because that's a bit of a pain to source. And yeah, we're actually not selling any. We're just repping the hobby and saying, come join us. If you're in the Bay Area, uh, check out Barrier Ultra Stock. Check out the Barrier Foam Tag Discord and come have fun with us. So, does this actually have an ammo display on the top? No, it doesn't. It actually tells me the the auto to first and to semi and safe. But I can also change the ESC speed, all the brushless motors to like depending on where I want it to be. So this is brushless. This, this is like the end game of dart blasters right here. Can we get a, a little action? So here's semi, Set, burst, and then full auto. Ow. Ow. <laughs> OK, that was amazing. Wow. Alright, Zach, you putting on your dancing shoes? Apparently. Take it off. Hey. Take it off the boots. Then I have no more socks to tumbles to know. Alright, so uh, it's kind of like a big between Tron and Dance Dance Revolution. Alright. Um, so press up when you're ready. And uh, you might want to start out pressing either up or down. Oh, well, so, it'll take like a minute to turn on. Okay. What? What? Oh my god. That is insane! Thank you. <laughs> All right, what are we about to witness? We're about to witness my car hopefully not get shredded. Right over here, you can see the bracket. Mine is the upper surprise, second from the top. Okay, with the purple wheels? Yeah. So what happens when you lose? Uh, it gets all the way down to the end, carried up, and then shredded. Shred like an industrial shredder? An industrial shredder. We can what? Do it right now. What? Oh my god, so they're gonna bolt your car when this is all done. Have you said your goodbyes? I have. He seems far too excited for this. Let the races begin. <laughs> Oh, 
no. Oh no. No battery, we're being safe, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. Oh, yeah. Wow. Not only is every single seat taken, it is now standing room only for obviously fart spray in their back, you know, on their pants, a little glitter. We have like a, a PA in the thing that we were like, you know, be like, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the bot whisperer himself. What are you with Shaka Kaido? We're about the driver Scorpius <laughs> and the runner Bob Bash. We're about to go to the green room. That way. So we're back here in the green room with Ray Billings. Are you ready for this? I'm always ready. Come on, I'm hardcore. <laughs> it, it says it on the shirt. <laughs> so how many people do you think we have to talk to out there? Uh, I bet there'll be a few hundred sitting down. It's, there'll be quite a few people out there. All right, let's, let's go take a peek. Yeah, yeah, but it's getting pretty full. Scorpius, driver of Scorpius, also the runner of Bot Bash, Zach Lytle. <laughs> and to finish out our panel, we've got the tallest man in robot combat, also works at Destructathon as the lead repair engineer for BattleBots, Bradley Hanstead, builder of Triton. Kelly, let's just start with you. Open Sauce was such an incredible event, I can't even show it all in one video. So many amazing things happened. We got to meet so many incredible people. I just can't fit in it. We went ahead and we put our ant editor, Andy Saro, in the middle of a Faraday cage between two giant Tesla coils. 
I got to meet Odd J, who is an amazing maker who makes robots as a companion, and NHRL went ahead and held a special challenge called the Junk Drawer Wars, and the two of us teamed up to make amazing robots. We even got to meet Angus and his robot Pancake from the Maker Muse channel, and now that Diana is the current RoboGames Fleaweight champion, she challenged him, along with Ray Billings. So we have some absolutely amazing videos coming. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned to the Builder Blog so you don't miss any of the action. All right, I'm here at the Founders Bolt. I'm at the iFixit booth. I need a screwdriver for this. <laughs> uh, you, you don't have anything in the back? No, I mean, unfortunately. All right, guys. Thank you for letting me troll you. Absolutely. <laughs> can I, can I, can I just like...